What's going on everybody? Kyle here at Off-Road Power Products. Today we are super stoked to bring you one of our new product lines, Leitner Designs Active Cargo System. We purchased this for the ZR2 we got behind me and out of the box, this is a very well put together kit. Um, 70 pounds in total, all military grade aluminum, dual stage powder coating, TIG welds, grade eight fasteners, uh, fantastic kit. We're really excited to put this thing on. Um, we chose the Leitner Designs system because you can throw rooftop tent on there, uh, storage pods, gas cans, uh, max track holders. It's very modular pretty much for anything that you want to use it for. It's got an attachment for it. All right, guys, enough talking about this. I'm stoked. Let's get this thing on the ZR2, see how it works. All right, guys, step one, you're gonna get your first upright along with four T-bolts, four nuts, a 13 millimeter deep socket. What you're gonna do is install those T-bolts and hand tighten the nuts on them on all four of your uprights. Step two, you're gonna take your four crossbar brackets and install two of your T-bolts with two of your nuts. Like step one, you're gonna only do those hand tight. Step three, you're gonna take your six rail clamps with your six M8 by 80 bolts and thread them in so the other threads are showing anywhere from about a quarter to a half inch. Step four, we need two of the driver's side uprights, your driver's side rail bar, which is clearly marked, and your long bar. We'll start by taking the long bar and connecting it into the T-bolts on both of the uprights, then tighten it down to the rail bar with the two provided 12 millimeter bolts. All right, guys, we got the driver's side ready to get uh, bolted onto the truck. Uh, a couple things we ran into uh, when assembling <clears throat> stage step four. Um, I'm currently doing this by myself, so if you're also doing it by yourself, some things that I found helpful were when you were bolting on the rail bar, it's easiest if you take your 12 millimeter bolt and start one end first, get a couple threads on it, then go to the other side and you can match that up Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty difficult to get it in and both bolts going simultaneously. Another thing you wanna look out for when you're assembling the rail bar to the uprights, you wanna make sure that they're butted all the way up to the back of the upright. Otherwise, once you get it on your truck and you take your final measurements, it won't be square. So keep those in mind when you're doing it if you are doing it by yourself. Okay guys, once you got both passenger and driver's side assembled, uh, step five is to put on the rail clamps and they can go on from either side of the rail. Take your clamp, slide it on, three per side, evenly spaced across the rail. One thing we did run into, they were a little bit snug, so we took a soft hammer and tapped it on. Once you get it past a couple burrs from the powder coat, they slide on pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and get this on the truck. All right, guys, on to step six, we are gonna get the driver and passenger side Supports mounted um, on this step, you will need your three rail clamps. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this up. And one thing you'll notice is every truck bed's different, so you may have to reposition your rail clamps. Uh, on the ZR2 in particular, there's kind of a pop out up front, so I had to slide the front rail clamp back. But these will go, there's a little cutout, sits right on top of the screw. You'll screw these up hand tight because we will adjust later, so don't over tighten them. And when this is on, we'll go over and do the passenger side. Okay guys, once you got the driver's side buttoned up and hand tight, you're gonna repeat the exact same steps on the passenger side, and then we'll move on. On to step number seven is the rear support braces. We are gonna do both sides right now. You need the support braces, your M8 by 20 bolts and two nuts. We'll put these on, tighten them down so they don't move unless there's firm pressure on it. Step eight, we're gonna support or connect the brackets to our rear brace supports with the M8 by 60 bolt and the two nuts. Uh, they go with the long end pointing down like so. You will tighten these down so you can adjust them later. Step nine, what we need to do now that we have the rear supports all assembled is loosen the rail clamps just a little bit. 
we're gonna slide the whole um, assembly either forward or backwards so that this bottom bracket that we just assembled in the last step lines up perfectly in the center of this D pillar on the rear of your truck bed. Now it's time to install the front upright braces. Um, for these, you just do the M8 bolts with the nuts on the back of the upright. We got the front upright brackets mounted. Next step is going to be to install the crossbar brackets. Uh, to start that, you will take uh, the remaining T-bolts and insert them into the top of your long bars, four on each side, two in the front, two in the rear, two in the front, two in the rear. And once you're done installing those, your brackets will sit on top. Um, the two up front get the remaining I got nuts. The two in the rear will receive these four fancy knobs. We are on to step number 10. Uh, what we're gonna do is install the crossbars up top. Uh, it's important in this step that you do not tighten down the crossbars. So we're gonna slide them on, center them, leave them there. Next step's important. We're gonna take some measurements to make sure this thing's square. All right, we're just about done. We wanna make sure before we tighten these down that the top of our cargo system is as square as possible. To do that, we need to take some measurements. So get your tape measure, get a calculator. If you're like me, I'm terrible at math. Um, first thing we're gonna do is start at the front and work our way back. I'm gonna show you back here how you're gonna measure. Front and back is measured the exact same way. So you're gonna measure from the bottom inside rail that your rail clamps are mounted to, inside to inside. So from there, just to the inside, looks like from where I'm at, it's about 53 and a quarter. You're gonna take that measurement, you're gonna subtract 18.75 inches. That'll give you a number, and you want that number to be in between these top two plastic end caps. Once you get that distance, tighten those down, make sure it stays there, and your cargo system will be square and ready to roll. Okay, everything behind me is all squared front and rear, so we're gonna drill some holes, then do the finishing work with the end caps and the weather strip up top on the crossbars. Okay, that's a wrap on Late There Design's active cargo system install on the ZR2 behind me. Extremely stoked with how it turned out. Everything buttoned up perfectly, went where it was supposed to go. Instructions were very clear. Uh, awesome, awesome product, uh, great quality really well crafted, made right here in the USA, built, shipped, engineered, everything. Awesome company, great product. If you have questions about Leitner racks or you'd like to get one for your truck, make sure you visit us at www.offroadpowerproducts.com.